Hey, it's Brian from Built From Bricks, and I've been busy. Welcome to Brick Island 2.0. So you may wonder what has been up with the city. There's been no updates to the city. I wasn't really happy with the city, so I decided to change it up a bit. Or a lot. We are doing a complete new city from scratch, and it's a multi-level city. And I wanted to show you a little bit about what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you a few of the ideas I have for the sections of the city, and I really hope you like it. This is Brick Island 2.0. It's a complete redesign of the city. I wanted something different. What I had here before with desks and my space wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I had an idea of a multi-tiered city. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the multi-tiered city, my ideas, and why I'm standing in this hole over here. Without giving too much away, I wanted to explain a little bit about my thinking here. So we have the two tiers here. Down here, I believe I'm going to have some sort of a water area, as well as buildings, some rock face here, and there'll be some surprises. There are these two tiers with a big gap in between them, and there's a plan to add a very cool bridge, which you will see in a future episode. We're doing some test fitting of that really shortly, so I hope that is going to work out well in the city. So I'm in a hole. Why is this hole here? Well, I need access to the back of the city to be able to build back here, to be able to not step on buildings by crawling across the city. So I made an access point over here, as well as one across the city on the other side for the same purpose. And the cool thing about this multi-level is I can add stuff underneath. So right in front here, I can hide all of this with a rock wall if I want a rock area, or a brick wall with masonry bricks. Not sure exactly what's going in which section, although I do have some ideas. And down below, will be a really cool subway. There will only be a few parts where you can see this train. It's a custom built train and I'm excited about that. Working with the width that I had here which was a little over 12 feet, the base plates are spaced apart where I have this nice opening which is exactly two base plates wide. However, there's always going to be a gap on both sides. So going against all LEGO purists, I may take one of these base plates and have to cut off four studs wide just to fit it in perfectly so I have a complete flush floor, same in the front. It'd only be on this side. We did work everything over from that side over, make sure everything else was going to line up. As well as from here to here, lines up perfectly with this because the base plates were 15 inches wide. This is 30 inches back, so when I build my rock wall, it can sit on top of these base plates. And all of that under here will be hidden, besides the secret stuff that I'm adding in. And that's for a future episode. Some pretty cool surprises I got planned. Um, only a few people will know about those. So this is the first episode of Brick Island 2.0. I'm excited about what I have in store. This is going to be taking well over a year, I'm guessing, to fill this whole thing because not only time, but money, and hopefully this table doesn't collapse. I did reinforce it, and I am sitting on it. I have walked on it. It seems strong enough to me. It'll definitely support a Lego city, right? Where's this going to go? I know, but stay tuned for another episode, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Built From Bricks as well as our monthly live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, dates to be announced as we determine them. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?